we might as well open up the scavenger crate. Hey guys, Seiji here, and we are in front of a green screen. Hopefully that came out as cool as I thought it was gonna. You can see from behind me, we did a little bit of work on the base, just mainly some foliage and stuff like that. We also unlocked the simple storage network mod, and we did a couple scavenger bolts. So stay tuned if you want to see that. And also, if you're not, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. The majority of people watching are not subscribed, and if we could reach 400 subscribers by the end of the month, that would honestly be insane. So let's add some comments and get straight into the episode. Before we show everything up, let's check out the comments for today's episode. We have Kyer. Nice thing about your Volt Hunters videos that I get inspiration to do things on my own world. And that means a ton to me. That honestly really, really does. And then we also have Tom Stackvik. Sorry if I mispronounced that. I like the look of the base. Nice theme. So off camera, we did some sprucing up of the base. You can see I actually made a little pond here where the lava was. And we have like a little bitty deck over here. And then down here in the actual base, we kind of expanded off to this side. It's kind of like a man-made cave. So this is going to be more like a hobbit type of base. Uh, we have a little villager outpost right here that we can have all of our good traders in so i'll build this one on camera to show you guys kind of how it works and just put a couple stairs there some slabs and then i really really like these frame stairs i think they came out super nice i'll put one here one here and this is going to hold our first additional color of wool and then we might end up going up one just so that way we don't hit our heads on it just like that same thing right here just switch these out with that one and then we'll use these frame slabs and then we'll use these frame slabs all the way across like this and just alternate the colors once again and yeah that's that's pretty much it and then you can go ahead and add your villagers if you want i did a lot of trading off camera to get all the good traders that we needed so like we have unbreaking mending and stuff like that we are also on the most recent update currently where it added these animal jars and animal pins so we can go ahead and get rid of these cows and condense them into one block i'll show you how to do that right now so it's actually super cheap to make you just need some of this polished bolt stone Come over here and then we're going to craft up a couple of these we got one for cows pigs sheep, and chickens and then you're going to want to craft up a couple of these animal jars not technically sure how many you need i'll probably make about four or five of them just so i can grab quite a bit at once and then once you have these you can just click on the shift shift click the cows yeah you really only need it one by the looks of it because they all fit in the same jar so this jar is holding 12 cows and then we could do this and just right click that with the cows and yeah it shows you you have 12 you can breed them up if you give them a couple pieces of wool. Oh, it looks like it's stacked, so it does them all at once. And now we have 18 cows. You can also do this, which I think is hilarious. You just hit it with your sword and it drops, it drops for you. It is affected by looting. Now, I'm not sure if you can break this. Okay, it looks like you can, and it does drop the jar. So what we'll do is we'll put a couple blocks down to hold our actual animal pins. And we'll just put one pin on each of these blocks. And I'll start kind of gathering all the animals we need. We'll put the cows right there. So I'll be back once I find some sheep, chickens, and some pigs. Okay, this is actually going to be a pretty cool test. I wonder if you can change the... Okay, it looks like you can. We'll get back to grabbing all these guys. Yeah, it kind of feels like I'm playing a version of Pokemon. I think you can even pick up bees with this. Yeah, you can. And then we can silk touch one of these things if we need to later on. So we'll start adding all the animals. We have the sheep there. And then the pigs. And then can you add these to that? Oh, you can. Cool. And then I don't know if you guys know this, but you can actually breed pigs with beetroot, potatoes, and carrots as well. The chickens won't be producing eggs and stuff like that, but that's fine. Later on down the line, there's another mod, I think it's Kajarium, where you can actually have fully automated farms with these. For now, we'll add the bees in here along with the other jars. So the main goal for today's episode is to get into the simple storage mod. But before we do that, let's actually craft a shard pouch. Thank you once again, Kino, always leaving the best tips in the comments completely forgot about it being able to craft one of those also i do want to craft up a pair of leggings i'm missing some volt plating shouldn't be too big of a deal yeah so we can craft some leggings up now and let's roll these up and see what we get and okay nice we got some common ones plus two armor plus 10 mana and a pretty low drop as far as the base armor went so what we're going to do is just go ahead and add a random modifier and we got plus six mana so that's not too bad all right, let's go ahead and put these on and we basically have full diamond armor and before we can actually start buying stuff with the soul shop we need to make a black market table and we need one soul shard to do that so before we get into this vault let's actually add up all these enchantments on our armor we have feather falling and unbreaking for everything all right it looks like we are now ready to run the first bolt of the episode let's see what we get so if you're wondering why i'm here i ran a complete bolt with my mic muted so that's going to be added towards the end of the episode 
if y'all want to see that, so stay tuned. It's going to pretty much just be cut up. Uh, that way, there was no talking, so there's really nothing to explain in there. But here's the black market table. Currently, we can buy an amplifying focus, a volt gold, and some chromatic steel, which is honestly an amazing deal. Oh, no, I thought that was black chromatic steel. We have 13 shards left over, but uh, let me craft up another crystal, and then we'll hop into a vault, this time with the mic on. So it's a good thing that we got these last episode from that vault, because I honestly have no clue where to find those at. So since I lost a bit of time right there, I'm going to talk a lot in this vault to kind of keep you guys on what I was trying to say on that last one. Oh, okay, nice. It's a scavenger vault and a lucky vault, so we might actually be able to get our bounty done too. Okay, cool. There's some mob essence right there. Okay, so you can see we got a rip cage that's not required. We can actually keep those and trade them into this thing and actually get some soul shards from that as well. So now it's actually worth picking up every item you can just so you can get some extra soul shards out of it. Okay, sweet. In the first room, we actually have one of these. I don't think I have anything yet. I can turn in this one cracked pearl and these green mob essence. I really love the sound that makes. So here's some ornate chests. Hopefully we get the saddle bag. Doesn't look like... Okay, we did. Nice. We can actually go ahead and turn that in as well. It also probably wouldn't hurt to take these anvils because these are pretty annoying to make. Turn in that saddle bag and we actually got the rest of the mob essence we need as well. So that's great. Nice. So we need gilded chests, some coin piles, and a couple normal chests. Oh, two volt diamonds from that? No way, a crystal cave room. We're going to definitely come back to here because it is the second room. But I actually really want to try to complete this objective. Plus, that room is just super dangerous. Okay, here's some gilded chests. So we have a chance at finding what we need. This one does not contain it. Okay, we do have one goblet. That's all we really needed. And another key piece. I say another because we actually found one on that vault that my mic was muted on. Now, let's go ahead and turn in this goblet just so it's one less thing up on the board. So now we just need a couple normal chests, oops, and then a couple coin piles. Okay, this is the third altar that I've actually found. I don't know how common these are, but they seem pretty common to me, which is actually a really good thing. Even though we don't need anything from these ornate chests, we may as well open them because we always have a chance of finding that gear. Also, do you guys know, see how the pottery shards are showing epic? Does it have to be an epic chest to be able to find them? I figured Kino would probably know, so we may see a comment from them later on. Okay, I don't think it has to actually be epic. We have that one right there, and it's in a common chest. Here's a couple corn piles. This is our chance to get that last crack scroll that we need. So far, nothing. Uh, but, oh, that's a bummer. So we're going to try to find a couple more of these. Okay, nice. We found that last pottery shard, so that's great. And there's actually an altar right behind us, so that's even better. Is it, This is this an X marks the spot room. I was about to say I'm only going to go for coin piles now. But uh, no, we have to definitely try this one out. Nice, ornate chest. That is actually the best thing that we could have probably possibly gotten. I don't know if coin piles can spawn there, but we're going to loot these up and then we probably won't end up getting this vault. I'm hoping to get some gear and look at that. We actually did. Oh, an Omega and we got an axe out of it. So that's honestly insane. I got to clear up my inventory though. So I think I looted them all. So let's go back looking for coin piles. Okay, we found some coin piles. I got to get rid of these mobs and then the spawner and hopefully we have enough time. Let's see if we get lucky. Not yet. I uh, don't think we're going to actually get this one done. One more chance right here. Okay, nice. We got it. We got it. Let's head back to the spawn room. Oh, that's a bummer, too. There's my portal right there. I didn't even pick it up. I have to come back over here and try and get it. Where's it at? Did it despawn? Okay, no, there it was. I hope. Yes. Okay, I'm running pretty low on time. I've got a few rooms I got to get through. Okay, here it is. Hopefully, that's good enough. Do we get the crate right away? Okay, no, we don't. Uh, but let me make sure I put some of this stuff up before it clogs up our inventory. Okay, so I'll meet you guys back at the base. Okay, moment of truth. 9,000 experience. That is absolutely insane. 82 chests. 46 coin piles, a couple pieces of ores, and I bet a whole bunch of mobs. 92 mobs. So let's claim that up. And okay, we got it. I'm going to sort my inventory out and then we'll open that up. And we also completed. Bruh. I forgot that I deactivated it. I am so stupid on that part. That's okay. We did still get our scavenger crate. Okay, so we're going to put the scavenger crate right here and I need to get a good screenshot of it just so I can do my little thing at the end. All right, so the screenshot's done. We're going to start off with these relic booster packs. We actually got another relic, which is insane, and a mystery box, some iron. Then I'm going to, now you know what, we might as well open up the scavenger crate. That was a lot of stuff. Look at all that volt gear. That is absolutely insane. Another one of these? No clue what this is. But let's roll up all of this volt gear. Hopefully we get something worth keeping. Main thing I'm really wanting is another helmet, because I do not care too much for this one. And by the looks of it, we got all scrappy, so that's kind of a bummer. Not too bad. No, my current ones are a lot better. Axe isn't bad. That's worse than what I currently have, which I was gonna, I figured was gonna be hard to do. And this is actually a pretty decent axe. Let's see what it looks like over here when we click H. We go from 25 to 15. We are gonna keep the sword. It's not always a bad thing that our armor is kind of bad that we recently got, because we can make a vault recycler. 
And this thing is pretty cool because you put stuff in here, you can not only just get bolt scraps, you have a chance of getting just like that, a couple wild focuses, which is honestly pretty, pretty good. Might as well take these out because there's a couple other chances of getting other things as well. And we didn't get it that time, but that's okay. 31 bolt scrap is actually pretty good. I hear a zombie and I feel like it's going to be right behind my portal. Thought I, the one spot that I could have spawned, let me actually light that up. Actually, we'll just fill it in with blocks. I feel like that's going to be our best bet. So I'm going to come to the bounty table now and actually select this one, complete any vault. That shouldn't be too bad. Let's actually feed these guys up as well. Get a couple more just going. And I was doing more research. And if I come over here and sh click it with a shovel, I thought. No, click it with a bucket. You do get the eggs. Wow, that was a good bit right there. We're up to 27 chickens, 39 cows, 24 sheep, and 24 pigs. I actually want to go ahead and craft a bolt shield as well because people in the comments were saying these were pretty useful. I think you can just roll it just like any other armor piece. Yeah, it looks like you can. Good old vanilla, weakness cloud when hit, and a 10% block chance. That's actually super good. I want to see if we can re-roll this into getting healing when hit. Healing cloud when hit. Okay, that's perfect. So yeah, 10% block chance is actually super good. That's the best one you can get for tier 1. And I'm not sure if it's every time it triggers, it makes a healing cloud, or if it's just at another chance on top of that 10% chance. But like I said, we are going to unlock simple storage, so let's hop into another vault. Also, don't know if I showed this, we did select this one, complete any vault, and we get all this stuff down here. Oh, trapped and lucky. Okay, that's not the best combination. And we did get another scavenger vault, so that's not too bad. Looks like I brought a good marking block this time, though, also. Oh, also, let me know, am I able to bring in other ones that we get from the vaults in order to be able to complete them faster? You can also see I'm using the vault pickaxe, uh, just because I figured why not, we'll make another one if we need to. That was not good. Okay, we've got to get rid of that creeper as fast as we can because there's Benny a Titan there and that's the main thing we're needing. Yep, looks like there is. Oh, wow, I didn't realize that stuff spawns below it too. That was a good bit of Benny a Titan. Okay, so we got some coin files. Let's hope we get these green bangles. There's one. Okay, there's a second one. I think we just need one more now, which is honestly not that bad. Oh, and there's a good Chester as well. Okay, I'm seeing something pretty cool over here. Okay, nice. It's a paint bucket room. I don't know if this is a challenge room or an Omega room. My, de my guess is going to definitely be Omega because I have not seen a single mob yet. There are plenty of coin piles though, so we should be able to get all the green bangles that we need. So I'm guessing this one's pretty similar to the old one. Okay, but you get ornate chests in here. That's pretty cool. Okay, this one had gilded chests, so I guess the chests are random. And I'm guessing these have ores inside of them? Yeah, by the looks of it, they do. Some Vinny inside. That's the main thing that we're needing currently. Okay, do not mine down in one of those. That was super close. Okay, what is this room? Is this a challenge room this time? Oh, I actually need living chests, so this is the village room. That's perfect. Yeah, it looks like it's the, uh, the villager room, which is honestly pretty good. I know living chests spawn in here at the bottom. So I know this is going to be super dangerous, so let's hope we don't get too carried away. Oh, I wish I brought ender pros. Look at all those chests. Yeah, so the main thing I'm needing is that drown hide. I got it, so we're going to probably run out of here as fast as we can now. Especially since my hearts are getting so low. Okay, I do not want to go that way. See, hopefully I can build... Yeah, okay. I should be safe now. Yeah, and I have just about everything. We just need one more zombie hide. I cannot forget about that bill. And we actually got it from this Omega chest. So let's actually go ahead and turn all this into that first room. And go ahead and leave while we're on a good note. Okay, so I know I said I wanted to go ahead and head back. But I don't remember if there was an actual obelisk at the front room. Plus, it would be nice if we find a little bit more Benny attack. I think we're like five gems short. Huh, at least there's an altar right here. So we'll go ahead and put everything in besides the last item. Okay, let's hope that there's Benny a Titan here. If not, we might as well just go ahead and turn everything in. Yeah, I'm just kind of getting worried. I don't want to lose everything. There's that last bit of it, and it should teleport us directly home. It sure does. 8,000 experience. Here's everything that we did. A couple mobs, and then over here, a lot of chests, and then a couple coin piles as well. Just like that, another scavenger crate. That is insane. On top of that scavenger crate, we should also be able to... Oh, you got to do two volts. Oh my gosh, I really got to start reading the fine print. Well, let's go ahead and open up the scavenger crate. I am two Benny Tide away from actually being able to get simple storage. And didn't get it, but we did get another sword, which is good because this one's getting low. We also got some boots as well and a memory shard. Also, what are these? Let's actually open that up. Cold and open this up. Nothing. Let's roll these up and see what we get. Okay, so the sword is 9 attack damage, and we're going to probably re-roll it because it's pretty decent. This one got a little bit better base damage. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just do an entire reforge of everything. Uh, not the best. I would like to get, like, chaining right there is exactly what I want, and increase damage. Okay, sick. That is amazing. 
I can already tell you it's going to do a lot less damage than what we currently have because I have that plus 5 attack. But we're going 25 to 19. So not the biggest deal breaker. And then I think we're going to go with these boots because it has the same amount of armor and it has item quantity and then an empty prefix. So let's see what we get when we add a random one. Thorns damage, okay. We'll probably go ahead and recycle both pairs of these boots. I'm going to keep that sword just in case this one doesn't work out though. I actually have another mystery box. Let's see if we get the Vinia type we need. Sure didn't. Yeah, for now, we're going to just go ahead and keep these here until we can actually afford the recycler. So I'm needing some pork for the next crystal. So y'all might want to look away. I, I, it doesn't, I don't like doing that, guys. I do not like doing it. Yes, I do. So this should be the last bolt that we have to do. And hopefully we can actually complete this as well. I'm just really wanting simple storage. And, oh, hey, check it out. Another scavenger bolt. This one actually does not seem too bad. Okay, so I want to show you guys the chaining really quickly. You can see I can hit this guy right over here. And it'll start doing damage to a mob. And it's got a pretty good radius on it, actually. Oh, two bolt diamonds from his common chest. That's pretty... Two omegas right off the bat. Nice. CWG would probably be pretty proud about that one. Also, do you guys know if it's possible to continue to get monolith uh, volts from higher levels like this? Oh, okay. Please have an empty jar in here. It's not an empty jar. These are some mobs. All right, let's see. Nothing in that one. And nope. Okay, guys, there's a lot of mobs in here, but I do have the living chest, so hopefully we can get that skeleton shard that we need. Uh, that's poison. But we have a couple more chances. And nope. Really hoping there's Binion Titan here because that's the main thing that we came into this vault for. No, but there's Laramar. Okay, so there is one Binion Titan ore, and that's actually all we need so we can actually unlock simple storage. Oh, we actually got the empty jar. Oh, I guess we had one already. I didn't even remember. Okay, good bit of bolt ores. I wouldn't mind some more Binion Titan just to have the extra. Oh, our first black opal. And here's some Xenium. That's what we actually need to get that Axing Jewel, but it didn't drop any. All we need now are some Gilded Chests, so hopefully we find them. Not gilded, but these are living, so that's more knowledge for us. Oh, and a living chest scroll. That's insane. Never going to complain on the more Binia type. All right, we'll turn on what we have. We need one more red scroll, so I'll hold on to this. Yeah, I'm really hoping we find this gilded chest. Okay, so these aren't gilded, but they are a little bit better than the common chest. Hopefully, we get another piece of gear. Does not look like it. Okay, there's some gilded chests down here. These are going to probably be the last chest I try to even get. If we don't get it here, I'm not even going to worry about it. We're going to head back to the portal. Okay, this is our last chance. Not in that one. Not in that one. And one more chance. Not in that one. We did get an X mark spot, though. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to greet it real quick and hope that one of these chests have it. Nope. Okay, kind of a bummer because putting three times scavenger crates in the thumbnail would have been a great clickbait. Not that I would ever clickbait. Okay, so this should be my vault portal. Oh, okay, it's not. Um, Hopefully it's this next one because I'm running super low on time. Okay, great. It is nice. So you know what that means. Let's head back to the base and see what kind of loot we got. 5,000 experience is not bad. In case y'all want to see this, we opened 90 chests, 49 coin piles, and a little bit of ores. Oh, and we got to level up after that. So here's all the loot that we got. One right there. Right there, but by far the most important thing was this Binia type. Oh, hey, we did get another Xenium out of that ore. Nice. All right, with our inventory cleared out, let's open up these Relic Booster Packs and a Mystery Box. Oh, and hopefully nice. All right, at the moment we've been waiting for, let's go ahead and get into this mod. We should have plenty to get into it as far as the Bolt Diamonds and the other one goes. It was just the Laramar holding us back. Now we can add this and add these and two Knowledge Stars right here. We'll eat these up and unlock for the first time simple storage. Super hyped about that. We're not going to get into it this episode. We're going to start the next episode off with it so I can give you a full tutorial about how it works if y'all haven't used it before. But that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope to see you in the next one. If you're not already, please like, comment, and subscribe. God bless you guys. Bye-bye. I'm into wave.